From fairest creatures we desire increase, that thereby beauty's rose might never die. But as the riper should by time decease, his tender air might bear his memory. But thou, contracted to thine own bright eyes, feeds thy light's flame, self-substantial fuel, making a famine where abundance lies, thyself thy foe, to thy sweet self too cruel. When I do count the clock that tells the time, and see the brave day sunk in hideous night, then of thy beauty do I question make, that thou among the wastes of time must go, since sweets and beauties do themselves forsake, and die as fast as they see others grow. And nothing against time's scythe can make defense, save breed, to brave him when he takes thee hence. A woman's face with nature's own hand painted, hast thou the master mistress of my passion? A woman's gentle heart, but not acquainted with shifting change as is false woman's fashion. An eye more bright than theirs, less false and rolling, gilding the object whereupon it gazeth. A man in hue, all hues in his controlling, which steals men's eyes and women's souls amazeth. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying 